morning, Sunrise. We're gonna go on down to Jackson. But first, let's hit up some fun facts for October 6th. In 1987, George Michael released his hit, Faith. And then it later got ripped by Limp Bizkit, which I actually prefer that version, but... In 1995, they discovered another major star that's actually bigger than the sun, but I didn't want to put that on there because, you know, the sun gives us light, and we got to respect, you know, the hand that feeds you. Happy birthday to 80s icon Elizabeth Shue. I'm not going to try to pronounce this man's name, but it gave me Harry Potter vibes, so I had to include it. And today's creator spotlight is going to be Lore. She has a song that was released today, so please go check out Late Bloomer on Spotify. Yesterday, I went over a couple of things that I love about the town, but today's it LV special. And LVs and their team, like Hunter and Mitch, came to visit the beef. Um, Chris and Brandon did a great job in Jackson representing some Nashville flair. And you could tell they're really comfortable with Cajun and Creole cooking. It was one of the best meals I've ever had. So, and facts, gator does taste like chicken, almost better. The fact that it's green is kind of scary, but those boudin balls, I still would love right now and the sauce that they came with. So uh, definitely check out Elvis as soon as you physically can. lucky enough to be the general manager of Butcher and Bean Nashville at the time that Hunter Evans took over the kitchen and it was one of our best guest chef collaborations that we ever did. I still crave the crab and shishito add-on to the hummus and it gave me that incentive to go down and check out what they were doing in Jackson. So I made sure to grab a drink over at Good Bar before heading over to dinner. They have great specials. My favorite was definitely the Emmy's Garden. So Hunter Evans' grandmother, Elvie, is the namesake for this restaurant. You can tell it is all about hospitality. The staff is so genuine and welcoming, and the entire kitchen just operated so precisely and quietly, and you can tell they have such care for their product and their community. on the money because this was one of the best menus they ever put out. Definitely didn't want to sleep on that pork platter so luckily chef served me up a half size and the pork with the angel bakery pita and all these little accoutrements like their fermented mustard seed was just to die for. For me and most of the kids of the community the gator boudin balls were an absolute banger. They had this remoulade that came with it that just made you want to go back for seconds. sweet potato gumbo the best. It just had this depth of flavor that was just outrageous. So next time you're in Jackson, Mississippi, be sure to check out Elvie's. I have a lot to catch up on and by a lot, I mean like trash TV. So Love is Blind came out today, the new episodes. We have a new Southern charm, which Austin's been acting like a total idiot. And uh, then we have gymnastics at 1230 all the apparatus finals. So respectfully, I don't know how much of an intro you're gonna get today.